All right, so we are on a new whiskey adventure today. Yes, we are. What are we doing today? We are at Davidson's in Centennial, and we're going to sort of hunt for whiskey. We're kind of <laughs> hunting for whiskey. The idea of this video is to really kind of just go in. We each have $300. Yep, if we each have $300, and we're going to go through and uh, recommend stuff and, and pick up what we would each recommend. We're going to do it separately, see what we each come up with. I'm gonna pick out mine, you're gonna pick out yours, yep. and we're gonna reveal them at the very end. We'll see whose picks you like better. You can let us know in the comments at the end. And by the way, if you guys have not subscribed, be no, <laughs> mine are gonna be better. If you guys have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and be sure to watch all of our videos. We've done some really cool hunting videos lately, things like that. So let's see what we can come up with today. Let's I get to go it. first, right? You're going first. Okay. And then I'm gonna leave or go randomly somewhere else. Yep. So, so let's, do, let's this. do this. All right, so I am in the bourbon aisle now. It's my turn to figure out what I want. I kind of went and scoped it out first to see what I would pick up. So here we go. Let's do this. I'm excited. So we've got some good options here. Got some Maker's Mark. We got some new Riff. See, it's a new Riff there. Got Wild Turkey 101. You guys know I love that. Ezra Brooks. A little bit here. Let's scroll on through. Kind of check it out. Ooh, now that might have to be a candidate right there. Knob Creek Single Barrel Store pick. This is a Davidson's pick. Look at that and it's on sale 46.99 i think that's a pretty good price 120 proof 46 bucks 47 bucks let's add that one to the cart oh yeah the first one in the cart Ooh, empty cart here we go what do we have on the bottom shelf down here got some early times early times bottled and bond Let's turn it around so you can see. Early times, bottled and bond, $21.99. Seems like a pretty good price. Maybe we'll get that one. Oh, look at that. Jack Daniels bonded bourbon and the triple mash. Not bourbon. Got Jack Daniels bonded, the Tennessee whiskey, and then the triple mash. Got a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Some pretty good stuff over here. Ooh, I see something I think I might want. See a few things. All right, so we got some, got some Basil Hayden. Um, Four Roses, the single barrel. Ooh, that's on sale too. I really like that, the Four Roses single. The small batch select is fantastic. I like it better than the small batch. But for the, the price, the $46.99, that might be one that's coming home with me. Let's go ahead and add that one in right now. So we've got, what, two $47 bottles. Need to keep a tally here. All right, so the goal behind this is to get up to $300, and that's with tax included. So we're gonna try to get to about $275, because I think the tax rate here is about 8%. So let's keep going, see what we got. Right now, we're about 95 bucks in. So we're doing good so far. Two bottles, 95 bucks, two really good ones, actually. So let's keep going. Flip this thing around. Whoa, that was fancy. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. We've got Smoke Wagon, uncut, unfiltered, $72.99. These are always really good. Smoke Wagon, the younger, it's another good one. We've got some barrels up here. Vantage, I really like that. We've got the Ambarana, Dovetail, New Year, Bardstown Fusions, the Bardstown Origin, which I really like these. Great price. We might end up with one of those too. Bardstown Origin Series. Those are really good. Some other ones down here. What else do we got? So we have some of the Wyoming Whiskey. Wyoming Whiskey, the Outrider, which I really like. The Double Cask, that's really good too. Definitely recommend those. You can see the prices there. 
keep on going. We've got some pin hook, which I've never really been a fan of, but I actually haven't drank a lot of it, so I can't really say that. Got some more down here, Rebel 100, some Fighting Cock. Ooh, Ben Holiday. I love Ben Holiday. I'm just gonna also avoid the Willet. I don't really like that. I like the bottle. Five Trail. Ooh, we might have to get some of that Ben Holiday. We might have to. We've got some Green River down here. Their weeded bourbon is actually pretty good, and I don't even love weeded, but it's actually really good. Nulu, which is actually new to Colorado, they finally distributed here. Nulu Toasted, Nulu Straight Bourbon Whiskey, five to six year old. Let's keep scrolling. We've got some local Colorado stuff, some Stranahan's, 291, Spirit Hound, some Breck, Bullard Spirits. Do they got any of that Boulder Spirits cash strength? They got an American single malt, straight bourbon. It's not really anything I want. We've got some Leupold Brothers. Not really my jam either. But something that is my jam is actually the 10 cup 10 year. And guess what guys, it's on sale. So $46.99, this 10 cup 10 year is going in my cart. Ooh, yeah, baby. So we've got three good bottles right now. Look at that, the cart's getting fuller. 1920, I think that is the one that has to go in my cart. I love Old Forester 1920. 60 bucks, not bad at all. So let's go with some Old Forester 1920. Let's put that one in the cart too. So $60. All right, so we're just about $200 now, so we have about 75 more to go. I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Ooh, here we go. I keep scrolling. I keep thinking about what I wanna buy with that other $75. There's so many good options. I think one thing I for sure have to get is, I'm gonna go with this Ben Holiday, $60. So we have about 15 more dollars. So let's go with this Ben Holiday the Bottled and Bond Ben Holiday. I highly recommend this. I think it's really, really good. Let's get this one. Let's go put this one in the cart. Oh yeah, this is a good looking cart right now. One more thing and we're about $15. So let's see if there's anything else we can finish off with. Okay, so for my last $15, I wanna get something that I haven't tried before, so I wanna go with a smaller bottle, and I'm actually gonna try this pin hook. It's $13.99, it's a smaller bottle, and it is, so it's 101 proof, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. I don't know, let's, let's get it and see what happens. All right, now it's my turn to do this shenanigans here. Let's see if I pick some better stuff. I did do kind of a little scope out before we started this, so I did see some stuff. And uh, we're gonna come across the first one here in just a second. And it's it's usually a good one. Oh yeah, there we go. Buffalo Trace store pick for, what is that, 35 bucks? Yep, we're going with one of those for sure. So item number one in the cart. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Granted, you probably already saw most of this with Dara. Most of this with Dara. Uh, there was something down there that we have to have. And that is the early times. Going with one of those for 22. Oh, I still got a ways to go. I'm at 57 with my 275. Um, oh, there's another one. And it's on sale. Oh, yeah. Check this bad boy out. You know we always have to have these. Not free pick. And it's on sale for 47 bucks. Steel. So where are we at now? Four plus 47. $104. I'm probably flying through this thing. There's some barrel stuff. I may grab a Bardstown. Not sure on that one. Hmm. Ooh, Ben Holiday. Oh, if that was a single barrel, though, I'd pick that one up for sure. Uh, where are we at here? Some Stranahan's. 
What else we got? Oh, ho, ho. I know something Dara picked up because I saw it, but yep. It's that right there. The 10 cup, if I can get the camera to work. 10 cup 10 for 47 bucks. Awesome bottle. Grab it. So, where are we at? We're at 151. I still got some money to spend. Where are we gonna go next? Ooh, store picks. Store picks. There's some good ones here too. Davidson's usually has pretty good store picks. And one of them I see that I have to have is that one right there. That Elijah Craig store pick for uh, 79 bucks. I'm glad Derek didn't pick this up because I saw they only had one we were here a little while ago. So that? Another 79 plus 79, 230. So what do I got? I got what? If I can do math, 45 bucks left. So what do I want for that 45 dollars? Uh, whiskey wise, I'm not sure. There's a beer that I want to get because it was just cool and I want the beer. That's a good bottle. That might use all my money. I'm looking at that Michter's American right there. If my finger's pointing in the right, there it is. That's 44 bucks. That would use up all my money. And I wanted a beer. And the beer I wanted was a Pliny. It's a pretty good Pliny. So anything else? Wish I could find something for like 30 bucks. Ooh, ooh, there's one. There we go. I think I'm gonna be able to do it. Pass it up earlier. I'm gonna take a Green River. This Green River bourbon here. Green River bourbon for, what was that, 33 bucks? I think that might allow me to get my beer. All right, let's go over to the beer shelf. Beer shelf, I saw this thing and we're gonna get this because I really want this. I hope it's a price range. That's what I got, I got 12 bucks. 12 bucks and it's an $8 beer. Pliny for president. Yep, getting the Pliny. I'm glad Derek didn't come over here and get this. All right, well, we're back. We know what each of us have now. We kind of saw, so. I think I have the better picks. I think I have really good ones too. I mean, we do have some similar ones. So before we reveal what we actually picked, because you guys kind of saw throughout, let's reveal how much we spent. How much did you spend? $271 before taxes. And I spent $275, so pretty good. You yep. I spent $4 or less. My picks are better. I think my picks are great. <laughs> Let us know in the comments whose picks are better. Let's reveal these and see where we're at. If I can remember my order that I did this, I got a Buffalo Trace store pick. I, oh. don't, I don't remember the prices of these when I did it. I just added them and calculated. I didn't even realize it was a store pick. That was my own yeah. fault for missing that. I would have picked that up too. So to you, again, I'm going to win this. <laughs> wow. Grouchy much. Jeez. Right here. Ugh. Okay, then what did I pick up next? Oh, next. Early times. Bottle and bun. It's a good one. I, I love the bottle. And the ones we've had at home, I actually prefer the metal screw top. And it's a cheap bottle. So yeah. that's what I chose. Uh, next one I think I chose was Knob Creek Store Pick. Mm -hmm. We love the Knob Creek Store Picks, so you can't go wrong with these. And it was on sale for $47. Yes. Can't beat that. Yeah. So the next one, what did I choose? I chose, oh yeah, Tink Up. Which I, I think I, yeah, I noticed okay, that just it moved keep... on the shelf. So yeah, Tink Up 10. Again, it was on sale for $47.99. Yep. Uh, after that, I'm glad she didn't pick this one up. It was the last of the uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Picks. I almost picked that one up, honestly. So then I had a little bit more spin and I wanted the Pliny. So I knew I needed to spend about 35 bucks. So found a Green River bourbon. Green oh, River did you go with the weeded? No, I just went with the regular bourbon. Oh, see, I almost picked the weeded yeah. one. We, yeah. I was trying to find something in that price point. So that's where I went that because I wanted the Pliny for president. Oh, I can't wait to try this. This is a triple yeah. hopped one. Yeah, so Pliny for president. Triple dry hopped. That's what I chose. So we do have some similarities. Um, let's go with some of those that are the same first. 10 cup tin, really good, can't go wrong. As you said, it's really good. <laughs> Next one on is the Knob Creek Single Barrel Store Pick, 120 proof, and again, it was on sale. Can't go wrong with that, both 47 bucks. Another one that I picked up that I just really, really love, and it's always a good Ooh, one. That's a good choice. Old Forster 1920. That one didn't even ring in my head to pick up, but that's a good bottle. I love Old Forster 1920, and it's, uh, I don't know, I think it was like 60 bucks. Another one that I went with, I was kind of between getting the Four Roses Small Batch Select and then the Four Roses Single Barrels. I love both, they're fantastic, but I went with the Four Roses Single Barrel because it was cheaper, it was $47.99. That's what, a good number. What tier is that one? 
This one tier is one. tier one. So yeah. this doesn't even matter. They're all good. Yeah. I think it's really good. Warehouse me yeah, me. <laughs> uh, the next one that I picked up, which is one we've really fallen in love with, yep. and that is Ben Holiday out of Missouri. So this is the Ben Holiday Bottled and Bond, $59.99, I believe, somewhere around there. And then the store picks of these when you find them are really good. Oh, store picks, the barrel strength, even the soft red wheat is fantastic. I didn't see the soft red wheat on the shelf here. Yeah, I don't know if that's so I went with that. And then the last but not least, I said I hadn't really had much pin hook, which is true. I really haven't drank much of it. And I've, I don't know if I really like it or not. So I decided to get the smaller one on. Uh, I think it was like $13.99. So I got this small Kentucky straight bourbon. This is horse name bourbon resolve, 16.2 hands, 101. 0.48 proof. So I'm curious uh, to see what I think of this. I don't know. It's actually distilled and bottled in Kentucky. So I, th I thought um, Pinhook was MGP. So I think overall we did really good. I mean, I think I did better. I like what you got. I would have picked some of the same ones. I think you like what I got. Yeah. Nothing's wrong. So let us know in the comments who the winner is here. That's what we've got for you. Let us know what you would have picked at the store. Um, we're always curious to see and hear about your thoughts. So let us know if this is a good haul or not. And yeah, that's what we've got for that today. All right, Stay well. Stay tuned to next time. Yeah, we've got more of these types of videos planned. So if you like this, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. We'll see you right here next time on The Average Drinker. Bye.